Mike Metzger's dedication or what he did, the face, the personality, I think he was freestyle motocross. There were only a few guys out there that, you know, had that attitude or that edge that I kind of liked. Mike was that first guy. He definitely had the attitude. I think Mike personified freestyle motocross. I started racing motocross when I was six years old. My dad was a motocross racer. My dad was always taking me and like pushing me to do crazier hill climbs, pushing me to jump things at the supercross races later as a pro when he was my mechanic. My dad didn't take me to the races not to win. That's it. It was like I was bred to go out and win races. My dad pushed me to be the best I could. That attitude that it takes to win is like no holds barred. I mean, you're really, you're gonna do whatever it takes. Now looking back, that's what made me the rider that I am. While the mainstream motorcycle industry was focused on racing and keeping up a certain clean cut image the Japanese manufacturers demanded, a crew of free spirits took to the hills and to partying Captured in the seminal VHS video series, Krusty Demons of Dirt, they became stars as they pioneered a new sport, freestyle motocross. The whole thing kind of came out of the dunes. Started out as free riding, it was no sport. Riding out in the desert, places like Ocotillo Wells, Canesville, free ride as we'd put it. The level of pushing each other was just ridiculous. They didn't really have it down. They hadn't done the science yet. In the beginning, it was more uh, just going for it. It's crazy that I you know, had a chance to be involved with basically painted a whole new picture for the motorcycle society. A whole new industry came out of what me and a handful of guys thought. We were just having fun. Mike's one of those larger than life personalities. Mike was so unique. Like, Mike was such his own guy to me when I look back on the freestyle stuff. And Mike was always his own guy, whether it was his style, his artistry. Mike's a little bit out there. The sport started out with free riding, started out with riding in the dunes or up in, you know, central coast of California. The free riding and the artistry and the wow factor of everything it slowly evolved into a sport. And when that happened, Mike Metzger was front and center. I would like to think that as far as getting the title, the Godfather, I'd say it's because I was the first guy kind of replicating what they were doing for BMX freestyle. That Mike really was, you know, the Godfather was the nickname, but I think that Mike truly was the face of it, maybe more than anybody. Free riding soon evolved to increasingly acrobatic and higher risk tricks, many pioneered by Metzger. Riders began pushing themselves further, and free spirited riding became a media and cultural phenomena when ESPN put it in a formal competitive setting. Well, as far as X Games getting involved, it just put it on the map because of television. The sport got pushed so hard within a really quick period of time. I've seen so many people get hurt, lose their lives. I've broken both my feet, ankles numerous times, lower legs. I've broken both my femurs three times each. Both wrists, fingers, broken my, you know, orbital of my eye. Progression came to the head when the backflip was introduced, ending the careers of those unwilling or unable to go upside down but at the same time, opening the door to the future of the sport for those able to master the trick. While pioneering the trick over a small gap, Mike was about to take the feat to a whole other level. 
When Mike came to Philadelphia for the X Games, I knew Mike then, and I knew that he had something up his sleeve. He didn't tell anybody what it was. I'm going to X Games, and, and I can't leave X Games without a gold medal. Everyone is now talking about Mike Metzger, who's going to not just do a backflip, but put a backflip into his complete freestyle run. I think the coolest and best part of the course was that it had a 80-foot dirt jump, and basically it was just like the perfect BMX jump for motocross. When it was time to just point myself at that 45-foot ramp and, and make it happen, it was just like, okay, here it is, this is it. Mike comes in, pulls the first backflip, and as he's upside down, he clicks second gear. What? And you're like, boom, shifted in the air, first flip and landed and goes for the next flip and did it perfect. Mike Metzger just stopped not only his first medal at X Games, but his first gold medal at X Games. People of the planet Earth, you have just witnessed double backflips, back to back. That's did the most like unbelievable thing ever on a motorcycle. He flipped into it, clicked second, and did a backflip out of it, like 75 feet. To see Mike go out and do that trick, to jump over the first one, hear the motorcycle go silent. One thing I remember as clear as day, I remember Mike shifting the bike in the air, and I remember I could hear the chain rolling. Nobody had done anything like that before. A good day at X Games, something that uh, I'll remember forever. On the outer edge of the vanguard of the sport, with his feet in Philly, which actually mesmerized the entire motorcycle and action sports worlds, Metzger was soon faced with an even greater challenge, taking a historical feat and bringing his own high-risk, modern, freestyle motocross signature to it. You're out there and you're pushing yourself to be the best. It doesn't matter what the risk is anymore. It doesn't matter what the money is anymore. It's just about being number one and you put everything aside to make that happen. I had heard rumblings that Mike Metzger was gonna try and jump something out at Las Vegas, some Caesar's Palace thing. Well, there's this idea that, hey, you know what? We're daredevils. Why don't we follow in the footsteps of, you know, the greatest daredevil of all, Evil Knievel. What better way to celebrate 40 years of Caesar's Palace history than with a high-risk feat that promises to take your breath away? A world record try with a Guinness World Record representative on hand for longest backflip attempted by the most influential rider in freestyle motocross. I had nightmares running through my head of if I have a problem with my bike, some malfunction, I'm going to end up disintegrating myself like a cheese grater through this, this deal. It was a 125 foot Guinness Book of World Records flip. As far as ramp to ramp and uh, being over the fountains, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one. And hopefully I'll be the only one for the rest of our lives. Mike Metzger's legacy of freestyle motocross. Well, I'd like to think that, you know, I've been one of the guys who just left behind something for other people that are interested in that to grab a hold of and run with it. Monster Energy has been a perfect sponsor for me. You see the Monster logo and it, it makes you want to go for it. It makes you turn into a beast, huh? memories that will last forever and hopefully you know push some other people to you know reach outside the box and do something that they might be a little uncomfortable but make it happen don't give up mm -hmm.